In these modern times, do you ever feel lost, like a ship adrift in a vast uncharted sea? Our era's dizzying pace, with its ceaseless evolution and change, often leaves us grappling with a profound sense of uncertainty. We find ourselves yearning for an anchor, a beacon of wisdom to guide us through the labyrinth of life's challenges. We live in an age of quantum computers and interstellar voyages, yet we struggle with age-old dilemmas of purpose, identity and morality. Where do we find answers that transcend the fleeting trends of our time? The answer may surprise you, for it lies not in the latest self-help book or motivational seminar, but in a text that has shaped civilizations for millennia. Yes, we're talking about the Bible. Amidst its ancient verses, we find timeless wisdom applicable to even the complexities and quandaries of the 21st century. In the ancient words of the Bible, we can discover enduring truths that still speak to us today. Consider Matthew 6.34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. A verse from the Bible, a text that has been in existence for over two millennia, yet it speaks to a dilemma that is strikingly contemporary. We live in an era where anxiety and stress disorders are more prevalent than ever. The World Health Organization classifies stress as the health epidemic of the 21st century, and it's easy to see why. We are constantly bombarded with news, notifications, deadlines, the pressure to keep up with the Joneses. In this whirlwind of activity, our minds are often preoccupied with what's next, what's coming, what could go wrong. But let's pause for a moment and revisit the verse. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. It's a call to focus on the present, to deal with today's troubles today, and let tomorrow's troubles come as they may. It's a simple message, but one that is often drowned out in the cacophony of modern life. Interestingly, this ancient wisdom aligns perfectly with a popular trend in the self-help industry, mindfulness. Mindfulness encourages us to stay in the present moment, to focus on what's happening right now, and not get lost in the past or the future. It asks us to experience life as it unfolds, moment by moment, without judgment or fear. And isn't that what the verse from Matthew is also suggesting? To not worry about tomorrow, but to focus on today. It's fascinating how a message that was written thousands of years ago can still be so relevant and powerful today. It's a testament to the timeless wisdom of these ancient texts. In the midst of our busy lives, this verse reminds us to focus on the now, an advice that remains profound in our modern times. Scene script. Let's delve into Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. This verse, though ancient, speaks to us with a fresh relevance in our modern times. In an age where emotional health and self-care are at the forefront of societal discussion, it serves as a clear reminder of their importance. It emphasizes the need to protect our emotional well-being, for it is this inner core, our heart, from which all our actions spring forth. The heart, as described here, is not merely the physical organ that pumps blood through our veins. Rather, it symbolizes the essence of our being, our emotions, our thoughts, our values, and our desires. It is the seat of our deepest selves, the very epicenter of our individual universe. Therefore, guarding our heart is not just about protecting our feelings, but it's about preserving our entire self. Let's break this down further. To guard something is to protect it, to keep it safe. But why should we guard our heart? The verse provides the answer, for everything you do flows from it. Our heart, our emotional state, influences our actions, our decisions, our interactions with others, and ultimately, the course of our lives. In today's world, where we are constantly bombarded with information, opinions, and demands, our emotional well-being can easily be compromised. We can become overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, or emotionally drained. When this happens, it's not just our feelings that are affected, but our actions and decisions too. We may act out of character, make poor choices, or damage relationships. This is why the verse urges us to guard our heart, to prioritize our emotional health and self-care. It's a call to create boundaries, to say no when necessary, to take time for self-reflection and self-care. 
It's an invitation to nurture our inner selves, to cultivate peace and joy within, so that our actions and decisions may be guided by wisdom, love and integrity. In a time where self-care has become a priority, this verse provides a timeless guide. Guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of modern life, ancient wisdom still finds its place. We've explored how Bible verses filled with timeless wisdom can be applied to our contemporary dilemmas. They serve as a reminder that even in this fast-paced era, answers can be found in the most unexpected places. These verses provide guidance, offering a different perspective to navigate the intricacies of our modern world. The Bible, with its timeless wisdom, continues to be a beacon of light, guiding us through the complexities of modern life.